Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you all how to compare the contents of two text files and saving their differences in a comparison report. Here in the text file folder I have two files called text file 1 and text file 2. In this video what I want to do is I want to compare the contents of text file 1 to text file 2. I want to see which lines are the same, which lines are slightly different, and which lines are completely different. So let's get started right away. The first step is to import the module diffLib. After this, we want to create a variable called first file, and here we want to pass in the path in which our first file is stored. And then we create a second file variable and pass in the path in which our second file is stored. After this, we have to grab the contents of our first file and second file and convert them into a list of strings. So how do we do this? To do this, we create a variable called first file lines is equal to open. Inside the open function, we pass in the path which our first file is stored in. So we pass the variable first file, and then we use the function read lines. What happens here is the read lines function will grab the contents of the first file and then convert it into a list of strings. We do this to the second file as well and store it in second file lines. Second file lines is equal to open, pass in the path in which the second file is stored, which is second file and then use the read lines function. And now we will create the difference between the two files. To do this, we use the module diffLib. And inside the module, we have a class called HTML diff. Inside this class, we have a function called, sorry, we have a function called makeFile. And this makeFile asks for four arguments. The first argument is it wants the contents of the two files being compared as a list of strings. And we have already done this and stored them in first file lines and second file lines. So let's pass them first file lines and second file lines. And it wants two more information. It wants to know what it wants or what we want the heading of the table to be the table which will compare the two files. So let's just pass the path in which our files are stored as the heading. So we pass in first file and second file. Now the make line function, uh, sorry, the make file function will return a string which will contain the information to create a HTML report. Now this HTML report will compare uh, will contain our comparison, but difference is just a string. We need it to be saved in a file so that we can store it. So we will create a difference report is equal to open. Inside this open function, we will pass in two arguments. So we create a HTML file first. The first argument is the path in which we want our HTML file to be stored. Let's call the HTML file difference report.html. Remember to use the extension.html because we are creating an HTML file. And then we use the mode w because we are creating a HTML file. And then we will have to pass in some string into this file because right now the file is empty. So difference report dot write. So the write function will help us to write some information into our file. So the information we want to write is stored in the variable difference. So we pass in difference inside the write function and now our difference report file has some information in it. Now we will close the difference report using the dot close function. We save this and 
in all we have to do now is we just run this and we will have a HTML file comparing the two text files in our text file folder. Let's open this and as I said there is a difference report.html. Let's open this and there you go. You can see that the header is the path in which our text file 1 is stored and this header is the path in which our text file 2 is stored and down here in the table you can see the contents of text file 1 and the contents of text file 2 and below here you can see the legends which are telling you what co uh, the color codes mean so green means that some information has been added into a file which is not present in the other file and yellow means that some information is slightly different and red means that the information has been deleted from one of the files. So you can see the first line apples is completely the same, completely the same, so there's no highlighting here. The second line oranges in text file one is oranges and text file two is oranges but misspelled. I haven't used G, instead I've used H. So since the characters are the same exactly in this first line except in this position, here it's G and here it's H. Python knows that it's a slight difference so it has highlighted as yellow. The last line however has bananas and grapes. It's completely different. So it has highlighted this as red because it thinks that text file 1 has deleted some information and in text file 2 it thinks grapes is an addition of information so it's been highlighted as green. So you can see that this report has been presented in a lot of detail and it's easy to understand and very presentable and uh, it's very useful in comparing two files so guys that's how you generate comparison reports and uh, if you have liked this video please subscribe and i will have more videos in the future and if you have any questions please comment below. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible and thank you very much for watching.